Hi, my name is Paige. Welcome to my June reading bullet journal video. So I did not make one of these videos in May just because I was trying to get into a routine with my job. And so I will show you what I did in May as well as any updates I've made since April and show you what I did for my June spreads. If you're wondering, this is an Archer and Olive journal. I will try and remember to link it in the description if I can still find it. And if there are any questions for things that I used for this bullet journal, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try and answer any of them for you. All right, so I'm just going to flip through and show you anything that I've changed so far. And I don't even know how many books I have read since April, but there are quite a bit more, I'm sure. <laughs> than I had in April. So I'm already up to 43 books for the year, which makes me very happy. These are all of my year in picture photos I've taken so far. I'm trying to take a selfie every single month and just see how I grow throughout the year. So far, I'm not seeing too much of a change except for here to here where I got bigs. <laughs> This is just a mood board for the entire year. I still haven't updated or added anything to it, but I have added some goals that I did accomplish so far this year. So I have finished the Mistborn trilogy and I have gotten a job. So there are a few things that I feel like I am closer to being able to check off, but not quite yet. These are my statistics for YouTube and Instagram a little bit. So mostly just keeping track of how many pictures I'm taking on Instagram and uploading so that I can be a little bit more consistent on social media. But my YouTube subscribers are across the top here. There wasn't much of a growth from April to May. About 10 people joined and it's still growth. I just didn't post anything in May. So I'm not surprised that it was such a small leap. Hopefully June will be a little bit better. And here are my books and fics that I have read. I like to keep track of how many fan fictions I've been reading just because I think it's really interesting to see how much I am reading that aren't traditionally published books. I don't know, it's just really interesting because fan fiction takes up a lot of my time. So I like to just see word counts and whatnot. So in April, I read five regular books and 58 fan fiction. And then I did 13 and 13 in May. I've also been hauling a lot of books and have yet to actually unhaul any of my books. They are all sitting on a shelf that I want to unhaul. I just haven't gotten around to actually taking them out of my house and who knows when I will ever do that. But here is my graph. I've just been steadily keeping it updated and yeah, May was a lot of books. I'm hoping June will be quite a bit more because I have really gotten into audiobooks and those are much easier to read while I'm at work than in a physical book. So that is why May was so high. Right here is just the total fan fiction word counts for the month. I was only at 175,000, which is not a lot compared to the 1 million I had in January. So I've toned it down a little bit with fan fiction, but I was also super busy. Here is my A to Z reading challenge. I'm trying to complete a book that starts with every letter of the alphabet. I am trying to not use books to start with A, the, of, things like that. So, so far I've gotten all the way through I. I'm just missing a couple of letters here and there. I have a few books in mind for those, but this is what I have left for the year. Then we have a color challenge that I like to do. So the front cover of a book, I try and match to one of these colors and I have not gotten a green, a red, or a brown. And I'm just out of curiosity, keeping track of the months that books are published. And most of the books that I'm reading are clearly being posted in September, which is interesting because I did not think September was a very popular publishing month, but I'm still pretty new to this, so. I am kind of updating the Zodiac chart. It's me putting a character down when I feel like they fit. And I do that sporadically. I'm not very consistent with my thoughts on those. So you can pause and read if you want to, but <laughs> they're just some ideas of what I've had with some characters that I've read and I've thought very strongly resembled some of those Zodiac traits. And this is where I should be posting how many fan fictions I'm publishing in a month, but clearly I have not published any. So this is still blank. One day I'm going to start writing again, I swear. 
But here is my TBR. These are all of the physical books that I own and I'm trying to keep track of which ones I'm reading. And at the end, we're gonna see how many I have left unread. So I have two pages of that. I'm sorry, my air conditioning went on. I can't really do much about it. I live in Arizona. It's too hot for it to not be on. So I will try and talk a little bit louder and <laughs> hopefully it's not too distracting, but. I do have a lot of green for my TBR, which makes me very proud. I'm reading more than I'm not so far. So hopefully I can keep it up and knock out a lot of my physical TBR. Here is my updated five-star reads. <laughs> it's no surprise, all of the Mistborn series is a five-star for me. I also reread Skyward by Brandon Sanderson and I love that book so much. So it is another five-star. And I read a book last month called Maybe You Should Talk to Somebody by Lori. Glot, Gotlet, Gotlet. I don't even know how to say that, but it was a nonfiction like memoir type deal or a personal narrative. I don't know, but I really enjoyed that one. So I'm going to flip us all the way to my May spread so you can see what I did there. Or do I need to show you my April ones? I don't know. I'll quickly flip through my April ones. <laughs> so here is what April ended up looking like. Wow, it's been so long since I've done one of these videos. I don't even know if I showed you these. I really did like my April ones though. They turned out really pretty in my opinion. That was just a quick overview of what those look like because I'm not sure if I ever showed you but here are what I did for May. I made it just really simple. I did it in maybe 10-15 minutes because I just needed to have something so I could track all of my books that I'm reading and my moods and stuff so here are my tarot spreads and my calendar for Instagram that I try and follow because I try and participate in the all the books challenge every month and this bothers me that it ended up like this and I had all this space right here but whatever <laughs> we're not in May anymore and this was my mood tracker and one of the day I just draw some goofy looking flowers and I just kept a list of one thing that I felt was very positive throughout my days and here was where I was supposed to have written thoughts down for the book club that I host with Serena at Read the Riot, but I didn't have much thoughts besides loving Camilla so much and these two quotes that I really, really love from Daisy Jones. All that's left is my wrap up. My May spreads, I'm telling you, were super duper simple. Skyward was my favorite book of the month just because I love Mbot so much. He is, he's so funny. Um, I saw the movie Top Gun, which I felt like by default became my favorite of the month. It reminded me honestly a lot of Skyward. A lot of the plane fightings and dog fightings or whatnot that happen in Skyward happen in Top Gun and things started to click a little bit more for me because I am not really a sci-fi minded person. I can't visualize those things very well. So fighting spaceships just didn't really make sense until I saw Top Gun and then I went, ah, put those in space, makes more sense. Anyway, my favorite song of the month was The Lakes by Taylor Swift. Um, Spencer and Jorgen from the Skyward series. I really enjoy them together and their bantering. There, this was the fanfiction that I liked the most. I ended up bookmarking it. Could I tell you what it's about? Not really. I've read a lot of fanfiction since then, but this was the one that I bookmarked and gave five stars. And I have been really getting into the Not So Berry Challenge for The Sims 4. If you don't know what that is, it's just a silly little, little challenge where you try and complete different things for every generation that you have for your sins. But anyway, my favorite quote was this one from Camila from Daisy Jones and the Six. It just really hit home for me. It says, all I will say is that you show up for your friends on their hardest days and you hold their hand through the roughest parts. Life is about who is holding your hand and I think whose hand you commit to holding. And I just sobbed hearing that one. I've read the book before, but for whatever reason, it hit me way harder this time around. And I also really like this quote down here where she said, don't count yourself out this early. You're all sorts of things you don't even know yet. And it just was, I don't know, a really good message to hear for somebody who feels like she's still trying to figure out her life, you know? Anyway, that was all for my May spreads. And we move into June and June is my birth month. So I really wanted to just go with things that I love and I love the stars and I love the moon. And so I just went with more of a space type theme. I watercolored here, which is why my paper is all wobbly. <laughs> and I'm not really a watercolor professional. I've done it maybe twice in my life. So it turned out okay for like my third time ever watercoloring but it felt very plain. So I added some little doodles, which I think were pretty cute. And I just had this little 
cardboard cutout. What is it? Cardstock cutout. <laughs> this is Hello Moonchild. And I thought it was a really cute cover page. Then we go on to some of the audiobook options that I have for this month that I want to get to, some books that have been on my shelves for a very long time that I finally need to read, and a few books that were recommended to me by some friends. So these are just some options that I had, but this is my actual TBR, which I can link right here. I had Sims pick my TBR because it is my birth month and I just really wanted to do things that I love throughout the month. So Sims picked my TBR. I've already read from Blood and Ash and I've already read Chance of a Lifetime. I just need to get to these two in the month and I have two challenges for the month that I need to try and complete or else I will take a punishment next month. But I just need to make a book talk every single week and I need to read a book entirely out of the house which I have completed with these two because I read them both at work. Then we move on to my birthday tarot spread. Because my birthday is June 30th, I have not done this yet. I kind of wanted to do it a lot closer to my birthday. And because the new moon is also right before my birthday, I kind of wanted to do it along that timeline. So I'm going to leave these spots blank, but there are four questions that I have written down that I found on Instagram. I think I searched up birthday spreads. And one of them says, what did the previous year bring? What lessons should I bring with me next year? What should my focus be in the next year of my life? And what will the next year bring for me? So once I get to that point in the month, I will be completing these and writing down what I learned about those tarot cards because I am still learning. Then we can go on to my calendar for Instagram. Like I said, I'm trying to complete the all the books challenge every single month. And so I just did the same thing as last month because I thought the little circle calendar was really cute and I just made the 30 stand out because that is when my birthday is. And I wrote down every single one of the prompts and I've crossed off some of the ones that I know that I'm probably not going to complete or I can't really figure out if I have anything for those. So they're just crossed off and then I check mark everything that I have already taken pictures of and schedule. Over here I have another little cardstock picture that says our friendship is written in the stars and I'm hoping to get some pictures with some of my friends this year and or this month at least and post them all around here as like a little scrapbook thing so this is a picture of me and my friend Ash which makes me super happy so I need to now wrangle more of my friends into taking pictures with me then we move on to my mood tracker and my winds of the day and I thought it would be really cute to do a phases of the moon so I'm coloring in the bright side of the moon for all of them. Not sure what I'm going to do down here with the new moon, but I am just going along these colors and marking daily how I'm feeling as well as writing down one positive thing in the day. I will be completely honest and tell you that I had to do all of these just now before I started filming because I tend to just forget if I don't have this open on my desk for me to see at all times. So it was on a different page and you know, my object permanence kind of got in the way. <laughs> so it is now updated for the past couple of days. And finally, we move on to my last two spreads, which is my book club pick of the month, which we are reading The Extraordinaries by TJ Klune because I love TJ Klune and I could not not do one of my favorite authors for my book club on my birth month. So this is the one that we are doing and it is not too late to join us if you want to. I will link the discord in the description bar and my final page right here is my wrap up. Like I do every month, I do a book that was my favorite, some sort of media, so TV show, movie, whatnot, my favorite song of the month, my favorite ship of the month, my favorite quote, my favorite fan fiction, and any other things that I am obsessing over. Like I have had candles on my list or a certain type of coffee that I've been drinking. So that is all that I have so far. I have a ton more pages left in this bullet journal because I'm not really using it as a planner. I'm using it more as just a reading journal and for some positive thoughts here and there. So I think I should be able to fit everything within the year and I'm really excited to see how it looks but this is getting so hard to close <laughs> I didn't really expect it to get this big so fast but I really hope that you liked how this turned out please 
tell me of any ideas for spreads that you have because I am already running out of ideas. I don't know what else to do and I still have six months to go with spreads that I need to make. But if you have made it this far, leave me the UFO emoji in the comments to let me know that you have been watching and I think that is all that I have. I shall see you next month for my completed June spreads and any other videos that I have going out this month. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.